Investigators continue to look for a reason why Stephen Paddock carried out the ruthless attack Sunday night. We're taking a closer look into his past. As Contact 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears tells us, his planning may have involved another large Las Vegas music festival. We got a tip early this morning that's now been reported by multiple national news outlets. Stephen Paddock reportedly rented a high rise unit at the Ogden overlooking the Life is Beautiful Music Festival just one week before his deadly shooting rampage. Would it have been a dry run, a scouting mission or possibly a planned attack not carried out? A spokesperson for the Ogden said this is an active, ongoing investigation, and she referred us to Metro. But in a press conference this afternoon, Sheriff Lombardo said he could not confirm the information. Okay. Former FBI agent Brig Barker, who we spoke to via Skype, says this is exactly what investigators will be looking for. Was he checking out other hotels? Was he looking at different floor levels? Was he asking, was he staying in any of the other rooms at different levels to look at the vantage point? Barker, who profiled the Pulse nightclub shooter in Orlando, said the attack at the Route 91 Music Festival looks to have been meticulously planned. Uh, he's using uh, different weaponry uh, to carry this out, but he's got two firing points, which is somewhat military in, in nature and theme. We're also learning more about Paddock's past, including that he worked for the federal government. According to the U.S. Office of Personnel Management, between 1975 and 1985, Paddock worked as a letter carrier for the U.S. Postal Service, as an IRS agent, and a defense contract auditor. He appears to be uh, professionally transient, so he moving around amongst jobs uh, and, and, and some my, my question is also, what's the root cause of something? So uh, uh, why is he moving uh, amongst jobs uh, so regularly? Uh, is it that he had this antisocial behavior that he just couldn't get along with people and kind of ran into a wall and either he left because of challenges there or he was asked to leave? Um, Many pieces of a complex puzzle, including one more tied to Nevada. We learned late today that Paddock bought several guns at a Cabela's in Verde, Nevada, which is just outside Reno. Darcy Spears, 13 Action News.